Hey guys, today I want to show you the performance of the Zuxi 2 with Resurrection Remix. This is a daily, or not daily, but weekly updated ROM for the Lenovo Zuxi 2 Plus. And I think that this ROM is pretty good for the phone. It is pretty fast and it has minor bugs that can easily be removed in a further update. Yeah, and today I just wanted to show you the device running with Resurrection Remix. There we go. This is, of course, here the Zuxi 2 with a case on it because it's slippery AF without a case. So, yeah, and we are in. I think I can bump up the brightness just a little bit so you can see a little bit more here. But that's pretty much the overall UI um, with the Trebuchet or uh, Trebuchet launcher on it. You know, all the apps are here on the device. Pretty cool, to say the least. And um, the overall UI is absolutely fluid without a single issue. Okay, quickly go into the settings. And I can uh, show you here um, what we are running. So you can see... Um, phone will focus there we go it's, it says um, RR so resurrection remix version 5.8.3 so you can see it's a weekly firmware and uh, overall this firmware is pretty stable you can see here C2 plus and it's based on Android 7.1.2 which is absolutely amazing to see and you can see the um, security patch level is on fifth uh, is from fifth of July two thousand seventeen, so pretty new. And of course, we have uh, lots of other stuff here on Resurrection Remix. Yeah, and I will quickly show you the over, um, the whole UI a little bit. Um, and it's just a you know a very different feeling from what I what I uh, used to have here on the phone because previously on my um, so guys what you probably don't know is that uh, from my last Moke video from uh, or on the Zuxi 2 I switched back to the official ZUI um, I switched to ZUI 2.5 uh, so the official Tishel stuff on the Zook um, but I wasn't quite happy, of course, with all the notifications, uh, you know, not coming through. And I had a lot of issues with the overall ROM itself. And yeah, I just wanted to get back to stock Android. And of course, this device has a lot to offer here um, for the price. And uh, it's super modding friendly. There are super many or there are tons of ROMs out there for the device. I don't know. What the heck is going on? So you can see, of course, it's it's not pretty stable ROM. I mean, it's stable, but of course, it cannot be as stable as a uh, stock ROM from Lenovo, for example. But you can see here the fingerprint scanner um, absolutely works without a single issue. Yeah, there we go. So you can see when I place my when I place my finger on the device, it instantaneously unlocks the device. Um, same thing with other fingers as well. Um, yeah, and before you ask guys, there is an option to disable the uh, on-screen buttons and you can simply operate um, through the interface with this one button here. But um, I have to say, on third-party ROMs, I don't like um, to use these uh, hardware navigation buttons because they often feel a little bit strange to me. So I I rather use um, rather use uh, on-screen buttons. 
you can see overall the multitasking shade is much better um, of course on stock Android you can see I mean these were apps or yeah these were applications that I opened last the last day uh, last evening and they are still in memory which is a very very good sign here to say the least and um, yeah I can show you the temperature we have uh, 23 degrees currently and the device feels pretty cool to the touch so nothing out of the ordinary on this ROM on Resurrection Remix of course everything works Wi-Fi works Bluetooth works uh, currently I'm in flight mode and you can see you can really customize your uh, notification shade here um, you can enable tons and tons of uh, quick of quick um, shortcuts here and yeah you can see some of them like uh, synchronize and um, app picker and restart uh, sorry guys I, I I forgot to change the language to English so it's all in German but um, yeah I think you, you will get over it you can see resurrection uh, settings uh, hardware and uh, hardware uh, keys on uh, music uh, weather caffeine NFC <laughs> I don't know what this NFC talk uh, tech does because this device does not have NFC so it's kind of pointless here but you have compass and you know all the different stuff is in here which is very nice to see uh, and I'll quickly go into the settings uh, show you the overall interface so under more we have this here um, we will go to this option later on because this is like super feature packed here uh, under the display uh, we have adaptive brightness of course we have live display um, which is basically like a mirror vision on um, MediaTek processor smartphones um, but of course you can set your um, your Kelvins here not your Kevins, but your Kelvins. <laughs> uh, so, for example, if you're using this device in um, in the night, in the middle of the night, you want a more yellowish color, and you can set this color right here in the live display setting. Um, so, in the night, you want a little bit more yellowish color, and you can, um, yeah, you can change this here. Uh, of course, the usual stuff, and of course, uh, with these ROMs, you can enable. Uh, the 180 degrees um, rotation and which is pretty funny I have to say uh, of course your night light that's what I would that's what I uh, talk about um, yeah background heads up notifications double tap to wake is also present on here which is very very nice storage don't need to go to um, I can quickly show you the um, the RAM management um, right now it's a little bit messed up for me um, because normally the um, the RAM management is not that you know high for me but uh, that can be one off here so don't take that for serious here uh, yeah and um, next up we have uh, gestures uh, or yeah basic gestures so we have um, switch to camera uh, like double press the on off button it goes directly to the camera and you can double tap on the notification shade to sleep the device very very handy yeah and then we have Zook extras and this is just you know Zook, um, you can change the profile but I yeah <laughs> have no idea what is changing and of course here we have the usual stuff um, stock Android pretty much developer options also nothing too crazy in here of course we have our local terminal ter local terminal that we can turn on um, pretty handy and uh, yeah nothing out of the ordinary layout and uh, we have our magics Magisk Manager. Um, that's basically like um, exposed, but I'm not too sure. So you can um, you can grant you uh, super user access from here, 
So the ROM does come preloaded with ROM. Ah, what the, what the fuck I'm talking about? Um, this um, ROM does come with um, pre-root enabled. So yeah, no 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 need to root your device in um, afterwards. And you have your different modules that you can download, um, which is a little bit interesting here. And um, yeah, that is the Magisk. And of course, then, like I said, we have this here. And yen, yeah, right now, uh, I'm at 19%. The battery seems to be a decent. Um, not draining too much battery too fast um, yeah let's go to the configurations here uh, matter of fact let me just change the language of course it's a little bit late but better late than never where are we here we go so we have um, we have all these languages here by the way so pretty much all stock Android languages are on deck which is very very nice to see yeah and I will quickly go into English here there we go uh, United States boom language preferences yeah and should be should be a lot better now <laughs> yeah and now we go to configurations you can change the visual aspect of the phone and you have you know all these different options here you can for example you can change the battery percentage uh, you can hide it or you can show it with other logos and stuff you can change pretty much the overall look and feel of the handset you know custom logs uh, system icons uh, network traffic carrier label you can activate that you can deactivate that you have a system UI tuner with your status bar settings that you can toggle so uh, yeah overall I think this ROM is pretty powerful and um, yeah, it's also pretty pretty polished because I've tried other ROMs out there but they never seem to be that stable and that responsive and uh, yeah I think that I will stick with the Resurrection Remix ROM for now and uh, you can see here we have the task manager um, notifications we can change the recent aspect for example here the clear all button we can change that so now right now it's on the bottom right but we can change this for example to the bottom left so we go here you can see that the uh, close all button is um, on the bottom left which is yeah I mean that level of customization is just amazing to see and um, yeah, you can change all this. You have different gestures um, throughout the interface. Of course, you can change the notification bar. You can disable that, and uh, you can change the hardware, um, the uh, hardware aspect of this one fingerprint scanner here. So, um, for example, if you double tap, you can um, lock the screen. If you long press, you go to your Google Assistant or Google Now, whatever. So it's absolutely amazing to see that level of customization on this ROM. Yeah, and that is pretty much it that I wanted to show you today. You have your uh, DPI settings also in here. Because I previously wondered where the, um, the scaling is. But here it is, you can change the scaling um, by the different DPIs. And you're not set to a certain... Uh, yeah, to certain DPI number, and of course miscellaneous. And um, what ama what is amazing about these type of ROMs is that we have OTA updates. So you know when a new update is available, you can check for OTAs, and the new version should pop up right away. So no need to download the whole the whole ROM uh, again. You just check for updates, and boom, there you go. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. One thing I want to show you is the camera, because the camera is always, uh, you know, a little bit different, uh, kind of buggy sometimes, but um, kind of does a decent job here. Of course, nobody expects 
a uh, stock-like camera experience here on these third-party ROMs. Um, but you can see, uh, it's kind of messy here on my desk, so sorry for that. <laughs> but I think it gets the job done for the most part. Uh, of course, everything, every single thing works. Uh, front camera works. Um, HDR also works. We have settings in here. We can change the resolution and quality. So back camera, of course, 30 megapixel. Uh, and what is amazing, in my opinion, is that we can change the back camera to 4 H, uh, 4K, which is a very important thing to me because I film a lot of in, uh, a lot in 4K. So that is amazing to see if you want to shoot in 4K. And um, yeah, like I said, the RAM management is okay. It's okay to rather good. Yeah, and uh, everything works. Of course, I'm offline right now, so yeah. But I really like the stock-like feeling of this UI, of this ROM. Um, we can quickly show, or I can quickly show you the uh, stock applications that are preloaded. So we have a calendar, we have a clock, we have um, a file manager, we have a gallery, we have um, a messaging, music, um, we have an Omni switch. I'm not too sure what this changes. Maybe you can let me know in the comments down below, guys, that would be absolutely appreciated. Uh, we have a recorder, which is also very nice. We have RR stats. We have, of course, the settings, um, and that's pretty much it for the stock applications. Yeah, so overall, I am very, very impressed by this overall UI and this overall performance of this ROM. I did not expect uh, that level of customizations and, uh, you know, that smoothness of this phone. And uh, you will see what I mean later on. Um, maybe today or tomorrow, because I will post a speed test uh, where I put the Zixi 2 against the OnePlus 3. Uh, as you know, a pretty fast performer with 6 gigs of RAM. And we will, you will see how the Zixi 2 stacks up against my daily driver. Wait a sec. The OnePlus 3. Yeah, and um, like I said, guys, if you want to see, uh, if you want to see some th some something, <laughs> sorry guys, if you want to see something specific in a later video, do let me know. Uh, I'm your boy Lucas for now. Uh, hope to see you back on the channel soon, and uh, yeah, have an awesome day. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video, uh, and uh, yeah, peace everyone.